What's up, Argo fans? Time for another Argonaut Weekly here at GoArgos.com. Rob Walden and head baseball coach Mike Jeffcoat after another fantastic season for the UWF baseball team. A midweek series against Mississippi Valley State. Argonauts swept all three of those games. And then this past weekend, a three-game sweep over West Georgia. So a 10-game winning streak now for UWF. And, you know, I guess you got to say you guys responded brilliantly to a little bit of adversity earlier in the season. You know, two weeks ago, the, the difficult week in Georgia, lost one to Valdosta, lost two to North Georgia, 10 in a row, and it seems like you guys have totally picked up where you left off. Well, yeah, we, uh, you know, we had some tough tests on the road, and we didn't respond real well, as we talked earlier last week on the broadcast. Sure. Uh, had an emotional letdown, I thought. And so now we have this week another chance to redeem ourselves where we go on the road back to Georgia and play Columbus State. They're ranked 18th in the country. And then uh, this weekend we go to North Alabama for conference. They're ranked 17th. So we've got a great test in front of us, five games on the road this week. Obviously, we've done real well on the, uh, at home with a 20-1 and one, one record. Uh, we're four and three on the road, though. We've got to show we can win on the road if we're going to be a championship club. When you win six games in a week, it's hard to pick out one or two guys that really stood out. It's a team effort to accomplish some Something like that but Shane Waller had a terrific week just a couple of weeks after getting hit in the head at Valdosta State I know a scary incident for everybody took a week off but came back better than ever this past week say four games and you know it was nice to see him get on the mound and pitch with confidence and also to pitch as well as he did yeah and I think the guys really like seeing that and you know you never know how a pitcher's going to come sure. back and uh, he didn't flinch and uh, threw outstanding uh, position player wise Dustin Lawley had a great week at the plate I uh, thought we had some defensive breakdowns this week. We made, you know, our fielding percentage has dropped from the 70s down to the mid 60s. And, uh, you know, we got to continue to get better doing that. And we're working defensively. And some of them were some tough plays with fast runners that we were trying to force at others were routine plays that we've got to make if we're going to win. Lolly, you mentioned it, had a terrific week at the plate. Really caught fire, three mammoth home runs. Is it a swing adjustment, or is it just a, a case of a guy really settling into a groove and seeing everything that's being pitched to him? I think he's finally settled in and, and starting to understand how teams are going to pitch him in the three hole. And, you know, that's one of the things we talked about early with the depth of our lineup. It's uh, near impossible for all those guys to hit all the time. And when Prawn and Huggins and all those guys were hitting real well, you know, Lolly was, you know, at 300 or whatever, struggling a little bit. But now Prawn them uh, they're still hitting balls hard but they've struggled a little bit this week and and Lolly has really picked it up the main thing I've been proud of my club is uh, you know we've had kind of the swine flu running through our team since last weekend in Arkansas sure. Tech and uh, you know so we had guys playing through sickness and uh, having upset stomachs in the dugout and you know they find a way to perse persevere and I was proud of that most of all yeah those things are gonna happen during a marathon season nice to see it not really affect the team. You and I haven't talked a whole lot about Tay Larry at the top of the lineup, but he's really been a fixture, handed a lot of responsibility in his first season as an Argonaut, had a season high four RBI in the Sunday victory against West Georgia, and really continues to get on base and make life easier for guys like Lawley and Prawn always being on so that uh, they can knock him in. Yeah, and I mean, with most clubs, you know, uh, certainly ours, with Tay Larry leading off, as he goes, we go offensively. And uh, when he's getting on the base, you know, we're normally scoring runs and uh, obviously he had a great week and a great weekend against West Georgia and you know we're making some swing adjustments with his stride and everything and he's still working on that and uh, but he's been a catalyst at the top and it's something we thought he could do from the beginning of the season and I uh, can't be more happy with him there. Schedule just doesn't let up for you guys seems like you've got a quality opponent coming in every single week this week you guys go to the road you've already talked about it Columbus State Tuesday and Wednesday North Alabama over the weekend in conference play last time you guys were on the road uh, for an entire week, uh, you know, three losses, not exactly the way that you guys would want to handle a week-long road trip. As you head into this one, are, are there any fundamental changes, or, or do you just, you know, go through the same routine, do the same thing with the guys, and hope that they play a little better? I think it's the same routine. Obviously, I think hopefully our maturity and our upperclassmen now uh, can make adjustments on mental preparation. I think that was the big thing on the road the first time through, and uh, hopefully we'll see better results. Ten in a row. Hopefully next time we talk, it'll be 15 in a row after a nice. a nice sweep up at Columbus State and North Alabama. Baseball team 
continues to play fantastic ball. Ten victories in a row, 6-0 and this past week. Sweeps over Mississippi Valley and West Georgia. Now, you can listen to all five of their games live this week at GoArtGoes.com. Tuesday at 6, Wednesday at 3, midweek games against Columbus State. Then Saturday, a doubleheader against North Alabama with the finale coming on Sunday. And again, you can listen to all of those games live right here at GoArtGoes.com.